Hello, hello, I'm Kendra. This is the weekly watch list. I love to watch and today we're going to be reacting to X-Men 97 season one, episode one to me, my <laughs> Let's get into it. Hello, I'm Kendra. This is number three on my watch list. I'm so excited. I'm a 90s kid, a huge X-Men cartoon fan. I used to watch this cartoon every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning, run to the TV, love that theme song. Of course, Storm was my favorite character. Beast, Professor X, Wolverine. <laughs> like I remember the Phoenix Saga and all that stuff. But I was way more interested in just kind of the politics and the um, dynamic between Professor X and Magneto and mutants not being accepted in society. I think that was um, something that was really interesting to me even as a kid. Um, I don't know, politics, woo woo. But yeah, I love the X-Men. So to see them sort of bring this back to life again, like I know we're in like the age of remakes and reboots and all that other stuff, but I do enjoy some of them, not all of them, but some of them. And this one I think is probably one that I'm, I, I know I'm going to enjoy just from the trailer alone. And, and the fact that it's the X-Men and it's a lot of the original voice cast has come back there have been some changes made I know uh, one character that was kind of like a come-and-go character before Bishop he's like a permanent character now that's pretty exciting I love that um, and there's another character who had like a, a short but pretty impactful arc morph He's a more permanent fixture now and he's slightly redesigned so can't wait to see that I'm just really excited <laughs> So let's get into episode one of X-Men 97. Oh, no, 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 no. That was cool. Ow. Ah, X-Men 97. To be my X-Men is famous. As we await more details, we take a look back on another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier. Burton so they flew him off world. Yeah. Strange powers. Oh. But is mankind ready to oh, share enough to with those who the buyers really gonna throw down ten? Now listen, I watched the cartoon when I was a kid, but I have a terrible fucking memory. You know, I know a little bit about a little bit. I'm just here for the fun and nostalgia, man. Heir to the that cost a fortune when it's not an issue. Beauty thinks it's about cash. Beauty? No clue. Kid didn't even try to show? use his powers. I'm not like the ones on TV. I'm one of the good ones. A good one. Oh, the good ones. Now that is rich. I was born this way. Ain't that the rub? <laughs> well, I mean, what happened to your face? Did a beauty do it to you? Sitting the blasters. How do they have those? Mistress of the elements. Storm! Yes! Okay, Storm. What you gonna do with those? Bah! Blast you! Pardon me, Bishop, for striving to resolve matters peacefully. Real peaceful storm. <laughs> well, I mean, she told him to surrender. Boot it up, boys. X-Men are like roaches. You see one, more are coming. So these weapons are good. Oh! My boy Cyclops! Don't worry about it, bro. We're here to break you out. I'm trying to remember if Cyclops was cool. He seems cool right now. With his laser kinetic push laser power. Oh, this is so 90s cartoon, but also kind of grittier? You get your hands on Sentinel technology. Well, that was my question. Find a way to evolve too? Not. But <laughs> Not bitch. You stopped the bad guys, save the kid. Uh-huh. I love that he has all fucking crop top. <laughs> 
more sentinels than I care to count. Rogue, the professor entrusted us with his dream of mutant human coexistence. We have to stay vigilant. But sugar, if you don't simmer down, you're gonna die of a stroke. Rogue is right, Cyclops. All my this is morph. gladly die for my dream of a better future. Stop being a creep, Morph. It's a little bit. It's a little creepy, dude. Prag Prager's gene. <laughs> Cares about her is stupid beignets. Hey, hey, hey! Worse. Don't, yeah, don't besmirch the beignets, man. Everyone, just please behave. We need to be role models for our guest. That kid's our only lead to where those extremists got their hands on Sentinel tech. Oh yeah, aren't you rich? Where are your rich parents at? Probably rejected him because he's a beauty. Oh. <laughs> He's just so weird. I forgot that he likes to do his work upside down. I'm blue, very blue. Hank McCoy here. Or if you prefer my friendly Nom de Guerre, Beast. Nom de Guerre! At the foot of your bed is... Name's Jubilee. And dude, I get it. One day life's fresh, then the next day you're waking up to a blue monkey singing Mozart as he tinkers with doohickeys. Simeon and now That was a mouthful. Shame on you. Capable of teleporting someone through time. This is taking me back. This is taking me back. This dude's voice. I, I think he's one of the original actors still. Besides <sighs> a cavity in a layman's existential fear of metaphysics, Mr. DaCosta here is in perfect health. I need to go. Where's my jacket? Hmm. Did your attackers say anything about where they acquired? Yeah, where the hell did wait, they wait, wait, somebody must have given it to them? In a day and you're coming at me with giant robot arms? Your attackers could still be out there, child. They could find you and kill you. We want to help mutants, even arrogant yuppies like <laughs> you. <laughs> Look, you're scared, Roberto. I get it. Just give us the data to figure this out. Humanity's days are over. Well, humanity's we days over, dude. Video games are for nerds. Uh, it's the danger room. Oh, I forgot the danger room. I love the danger room. Teleport, shoot full balls. Yeah, what can you do? Magneto's about to blast ya. Or throw some heavy metal at ya. Get a life. Show the ladies. Computer and program. Yeah, that's real, buddy. Oh! Scary enough for you, bub. You Never thought I'd get so giddy about somebody saying the word bub. How are these groups getting this tech? You said the UN destroyed all the sentinels. This is so amazing. Yeah, oh, I guess I just imagined the big robot hand that almost took out my team. The new X-Men destroyed the only one years ago. Charles Xavier was a dear friend of mine. A little trust, Scott. Trust happens when actions meet Ooh, words. got you. Sassy. Cyclops is sassy. This certainly explains your mood. I came yesterday. He's not really dead, right? He's all work. He's all work. be shooting hoops while slime like the friends of humanity are running around with sentinel blasters. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake? Uh, the professor would shout, Your childish hijinks have cost you five demerits, young man. <laughs> and you'd say, But sir, what's the point of being an X Man if we're not allowed to enjoy our lives? Our whole future ahead of us. They're so corny, but it's cute. Th maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X Men? Yeah. Beyond? You mean. Leave the team? Well, Gene. what have we been fighting for all these years if not the chance to finally live our lives? So, John got powers and shit. What y'all gonna do? Students. The team will be fine, and I know it hurts, but this one time, Scott, it's okay for you to let go. Wow, that's heavy, Gene. What are you doing? Bozo here scared Roberto off. Find what is this dude's powers? He still haven't shown his powers. Take that nose of yours and go find the kid. Go with them. Hey now, we didn't do a dang thing. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh. Gene may take the boy scout with Jane Summers, but I don't much go in for being bossed around. Mm -hmm. ah. Logan, find Roberto. Please. Oh. Well, anything for you, Gene? What Eric did was pretty horrible. But want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. Logan is sassy as fuck too. I forget, you know. Doesn't matter. Satisfying. The man who killed Charles Xavier. Whoa! This music man. Kids here. 
but there are too many damn sets. Looks like we split up. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, whatever. The kid's here, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll find him eventually. I just want to chill right now. <laughs> My power sap and touch is leaving with a nasty hangover. Any worthwhile man would gladly suffer your hand in his Ow. <laughs> Kippit's eyes are fucking scary, bro. Where's the kid? Y'all look- they're not looking for the kid! Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going back there. You're not safe here. One dance. That'll come. Promise. Now that's not gonna be just one dance. But okay, sure. Oh, shit! Jubilee making fireworks while she take- yeah! Don't let me have a crush on Jubilee right now. Bro, this music, y'all don't understand. The 80s and the club, I mean, I was just a kid, but I know that the clubs was popping and hopping. Let me stop. <laughs> what are his powers, though? So we don't know where the Sentinel Arms came from. We don't know who sent them to them. Why would I know where Trask is? You helped fund his Sentinel program oh, okay. when you worked There's for the a lead. There we department. Go. Those Sentinel upgrades really threw you. Did you honestly think we'd roll over and let mutants take over the planet? Normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Tolerance is extinction. Oh shit. Ten years, Gyrick. Yours to win or lose. <laughs> I won the day I shot the man you freak shows look up to. And you get an A for effort, Mr. Summers. But we both know you're no- Ah! He is coming for their throats! Hatred weakens your mind, Mr. Gyrick. Cerebro amplifies my second- Woo! Allowing me to penetrate your thoughts from any distance- Woo! One master hold is not enough. We need backups. I know him. Something's wrong. Someone else. Who? Who? Is she still in his mind? Is it the Phoenix? Are you dreaming? What? What is happening? Behold, mutant and despair, for I am dead. Whoa! Oh shit! Jean, Jean, come in. I'm here. I'm here, Scott. I'm fine. We have to stop Trask. Is he possessed? Did that come from his mind? Place Trask in the Sahara Desert. I say we skip detaining and mail Trask back to the UN in little pieces. <laughs> no dismembering, Wolverine. Dismembering. Nah, wait, Lars. <laughs> we get this done by working together as a team. Think you can do that, Logan? Jeez, Dad. Keep I don't think they would have mentioned. What would we do if we ever lost you? <laughs> I don't think they would have mentioned dismembering in the old cartoon. Let's go now! Hang on, people! Is that a sentinel? Oh, shit! How did they not see that thing? Was it hiding behind a fucking cloud? <laughs> Okay. I don't know this guy. Another catch the X Men day. Are you being a little too casual about y'all falling out of a plane with no parachutes? Let's see you on the ground. Okay, guy. You're gonna use your fucking eye powers to stop your momentum? That's pretty boss. I'm not gonna lie. Did you make a crater? To me, my X-Men. Oh shit! Okay, bro. <laughs> Gyrick warned me you were coming. The mutant agenda must be stopped. Trask, we don't want to fight. Well, I mean, this dude has a giant fucking sentinel, so you should probably have prepared to fight. <laughs> they talking about dismemberment and calling the mutants animals and shit. Well, that's a lot of fucking sentinels. 
I mean, I know y'all can do it, but... I don't know if I can remain undistracted by this song. Like, I love this fucking song, bro. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful involuntary friendship. Wow. This dude took over a sentinel by climbing into his chest piece. <laughs> so all of that and oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, Storm. Oh, I love the take on the music, the refrain. Oh shit. She's so school of drama. I love it. Things die. Oh shit! Slice of dice. How you going to fight with no head, bro? That's a really big helicopter. She is thick. No wonder she's on the treadmill all the time. Yet again, humanity is in the X Men's debt. We all win when men like him fail. You sound like Charles. He would have been proud today. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. But to be honest, it was a team effort. <laughs> they are just standing the ground. The team had saved me from Sentinels at the mall, but this place, a place I remember that. Be me, Sentinels at the mall. A foster brat belonged. It's a family. A family that accepts you. Sounds nice. Oh, okay. Is that why he doesn't? Sort of okay. Sword. All right. Finally. Still figuring it out. Interesting. It makes me strong, though. Be an X Men Jubilee. I don't even want to be myself. Oh. Yes. Page me. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll even Ooh. let you fly it. <laughs> Remember, what? no powers. And what about Gambit? Other powers. Oh. Ah! The responsibility to power of the six pack to team leader. Jean and I have an announcement. Cyclops and Jean were the first X Men. If they're gone, who the heck is going to lead the team? Sensors show the intruder has breached the professor's old. Oh no, Beast, hold on it. Oh, uh, you know what, Storm? Hello. Oh, despite our differences, he never uh -oh. ceased faith in our friendship. Nor forgive my name. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That is why the old fool has done this. Charles well, did well. I guess Charles would have done. Home, I beg to differ, Cyclops. His fortune, his school, everything he fought for, now belongs to me, my X-Men. Aha! Title drop. Okay. Hey now, that was really good. I am totally on board for the rest of the season. I'm going to be ranking this episode a 9 out of 10. Let's talk about it. That was pretty awesome. I kind of wish this was a Saturday morning and that I was eating like some Apple Jacks or some Fruit Loops or some, or some shit because it felt like this was me reliving my childhood except also very adult, you know? It is very much x-men 97 of the modern times you know it's very much that adult sort of animation style that gritty feel the music you know the music helped bring depth and this world building that i just didn't notice because i didn't have the language you know when i was a kid but now i'm definitely feeling the weight of the responsibility, for example, that Cyclops has, uh, Jean's desire to, you know, start a life. She's pregnant and she's ready to nest, basically, and she doesn't want to do it in this crowded ass school when she has to go out and fight crime every now and then. That sequence when she went into that guy's mind and had that vision, that was really trippy and awesome. I don't know what that is alluding to, but I really liked it. 
Y'all have to forgive me. I'm gonna have to watch like some Easter egg recaps. I'm gonna have to do some new rock stars, some screen crush because like I said, I was a kid and my memory is shit. So I don't really know what references I might have missed. Well, I'm sure some of y'all will probably tell me things I didn't notice in the comments and you know, we can talk about it. But that was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, it was such a solid episode. Like there was really no moment that I was bored. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Just because what it is. It is a really good piece of television for a reboot on Disney+. Plus. All right, that is gonna do it. This is number three on my watch list. There's gonna be more X-Men to come. I'm going to finish this series. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do it like in chunks. So stay tuned. If you like what you see, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Peace.